Hello, it's Mike from the FXPivotPoint.com. I apologize, I haven't made a trade in a while, but the market um, has, uh, you know, been a little difficult to trade. However, TIB traders have been doing well. Uh, we take a look at here at the opening. Here's the opening. It's obvious of uh, this week, and remember that the opening of any week will very often, I mean, a very high probability trade here, I'm, I'm guessing, again, I don't have any real numbers, 80%, will go in the direction of the previous week's trend. And as you can see, the euro's been going up for a while, right? So the previous week's trend should be up. So we get a drop, it's kind of a fake out, and then we move up. And it looks like we're topping out here at 31, what, maybe 31.50-ish. It doesn't look like we'll see 3200. It looks like we're rolling over. And if you were a TIB trader, I might look to uh, sell this uh, if we get a bounce here. Um, all right. And you can see it went in the direction. This is no different one in the direction of the previous week's trend, which was up. And then uh, this, we're showing signs of rolling over. And then we can take a look at a four hour to see what I'm talking about. You can see we've got this. Look at this big. That's one big bearish candle, isn't it? And we've got another one here. So, you know, looks like we got maybe here we got a little support here. Uh, maybe a bounce again. Uh, most most likely I look to sell a bounce here. And then we can see by just looking at this chart, we can see where our stopping point's going to be. Barring any, you know, news that will drop it like a rock. I just say it's normal. Resistance, resistance, resistance will now become support. So we know, let's move this over a little, come on, buddy. Boink. We know right here at, at 29.09, we're going to get a bounce here. We're going to get some support. And what is 29.09 near? It is 2900, which is a round number, which we call psychological level. And psychological levels are very strong. All right, especially round number cycle levels. All right, so depending on what happens here, a little bounce. Uh, again, I'd love to sell a bounce up to here. Uh, where would it bounce back to? Uh, I don't know, somewhere in the uh, somewhere in the three range. Uh, three twenty-five, seven fifty. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, again, the day doesn't know where it wants to go. And you can see that by the 15-minute chart, you can see we're already we blew up past and uh, held here at the pivot point. Look how it just right at the pivot point for quite some time before it breaks up. Look where it stops within pips of R1 before we move down. And see where we'll stop. We got uh, 29.84. A little, like I said before, we could see on the longer-term chart a little bit of support right here. Remember, right here that is. Also, some resistance, so not a lot, but enough to give a little, you can see here, it stopped, enough to give it a, a little bit of support. Uh, so we have our zone, so we very well could get some choppiness in between here. A uh, little bounce up, down, down, who knows. Uh, we'll just have to wait for the, the news to give us a little more direction. Is it you're going to continue up, or are we going to see a, a rollover? Um, no clue. And again, as technical traders, we really don't care. The yen, the yen's been all over the place. It's, uh, ugh, I will stay away from that. What's a pound look like in the 15? Yeah. yeah. Pretty much marrying the, the euro. Just not a lot. We'll stick to trading the euro. How about that? And there we go. And look, we're getting a little bounce. So come on, let's bounce up here. This will be a nice fade depending on uh, how the rest of the day goes. All right, well, that's it. Uh, if you guys have any questions or uh, any uh, analysis you'd like me to take a look at or what have you, please shoot me an email. I'll do my best to uh, muddle through it. I will also be answering questions and doing an analysis on uh, the newest automated trading system on the market called uh, Forex Bulletproof. I'll do that at the end of September and we'll take a look at um, September's first monthly results. Uh, I'm doing that because I'm uh, I think we're we're very near uh, 
to having a retail automated trading system that works uh, very solidly. Uh, and in the past, I, I just don't think it was there. I think I don't think many automated robots did well long term. And as a matter of fact, I don't think there have been any. Uh, I think we're on the verge of maybe seeing a, a robot uh, be able to perform over the long term. Uh, there are things I like about Bulletproof, and I'll go over that, and things I don't like about it. Uh, specifically, they, they use a Martingale strategy. I'm not a big fan of that. But uh, I can tell you right now, as of uh, where are we at? We're at mid-September, right? Yeah, uh, mid, near end. Uh, that it's up one percent this month, and um, well, that's where we are. We'll you know check back and, and we'll take a look at. It more in depthly at that system later. Alright, but for our manual traders, TIB, um, it looks like we're setting up for a, uh, a fade. We'll see. See how the rest of the day goes. Remember, we don't trade during the 9.30 hour. That's a sucker's game. And we'll wait for, uh, hopefully, uh, some some more movement into the uh, 11, uh, 11-ish, uh, 11.30, uh, the, the Euro fix. And certainly into the close of the the U.S. session. See where we go. All right, uh, trade well, and we will talk to you soon. Later.